Alright guys, good evening right there. So I was going to show you in the next video that we will be working. We are now unit number three. So the topics for unit number three are the next one. So we're gonna talk about food. No, everybody loves food. So I will ask you, you can reply this, you can reply on the comments. What's your favorite food? And tell me why. What's your food? Uh, we're gonna look to food preparation, present passive. Is there anyone here that likes uh, cooking or preparing food? And then lesson B is giving a recommendation, no? So in your experience, uh, giving a recommendation to a restaurant or place or where can we order something delicious? Accepting recommendations, lesson C, taste and textures, time classes, and lesson D, re uh, reading the chocolate from forest to factory, writing a recipe. A recipe. Okay, guys, let's gonna start now. So basically, uh, my favorite food is uh, Italian and the Mexican. What about you guys? Tell me, tell me in the comments. You can post in the comments what's your favorite food, and tell me why. Well, uh, here are some different dishes, no? So it looks like this is watermelon. Does any of you like watermelon? Then this one is like a sushi with a dragon form. No, you see the avocados has the. Uh, well, the avocados have the the shape of a dragon, no? Simulating a dragon is I love sushi too, but this is not the original sushi. This is the Canadian sushi, actually. And right here, guys, there's a crocodile, no? So it's like a cake, no? Belen in the class, it's one of the girls that I know that she prepares and she bakes a she bakes cakes, no? Delicious cakes. So you wanna get a cake? As to Berlin, and she likes uh, doing desserts too, you know. So, this is a dessert you like a gummy and a chocolate cookie house, probably. I don't know. So, what food can you see here? That's a that's a fancy watermelon decorated like a rose. No, this is a cake, uh, I don't know, made with floor, uh, floor and 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 some. A baking baking stuff well he has a baking powder there or maybe not maybe it's not a bread maybe it's like a ice cream cake ice cream I don't know I don't know well now let's gonna get to the let's gonna get through the page in the next page is street food street food uh, we're gonna look to the food preparation we have bake the verbs we have bake boil fry grill melt microwave rose steam okay uh, so we're gonna in the, our next flip grid our next flip grid we're gonna describe a recipe we're gonna talk about the recipe and uh, about your favorite it could be a local dish or from another country whatever you prefer I will help you matching the next verbs to the description well to the to the picture so right now we have here e that's melt no melt the butter this is butter no do you like butter like uh primavera those brands no here we have the next one it's uh beets boil as you see the bubbles right here is the water is very very hot then the next one it's one of my favorites it's grill no grill this is meat no for example when you eat tacos no it has grilled meat and then the number four chicken no the chicken it's roast the roast chicken from Costco no that you can get a mask with a chicken there you can get a mask in Costco for COVID-19 and then does the steam no steam the these are uh, sparrows sparrows no they are delicious steam there are many Things that you can steam to, like for example, potatoes, carrots, almost all vegetables you can steam. And then the next one is frying, no? Frying food. Frying food is, well, fried food, sorry. Fried food is delicious. And this is frying. There are uh, chicken nuggets, no? So you, you might like chicken nuggets or you might like uh, boneless. Are, boneless are too, mm, how can I say, uh, fried, right? Or not? They are breaded, breaded, and well, they need to be like, uh, like, like, like fried too. Then the next one, it's baked. No, who likes baking? Who likes baking? 
uh, cakes or cookies who likes that so please in the comments you can put who likes doing any of these activities so you have multiple options to reply to these videos then number nine we have the microwave we have the popcorn the popcorn microwave and well you see here there's a there are some popcorns but the microwave well what thing can can you do with the microwave you can do anything you can do anything and the uh, last one is uh, next one it's we'll have a short reading language in context on every street corner well actually we're gonna talk about that in our next uh, flip read so we have empanadas empanadas are typical street snack in the dominican republic they are that that is filled with meat vegetables cheese or combination of all three then they are filled then we have the beagles the beagles are a kind of bread that is sold by street vendors all over the new york city beagles are boiled and then baked they are often eaten with butter or cream cheese then the satay is very popular in indonesia there are many types of satay, but usually meat is put on wooden sticks and then grilled. Uh, satay is often served with peanut sauce. And then, what about? Do you have similar foods or you live where you live? Which would you like to try right now? Where here in Sonora, there are a lot of uh, uh, typical dishes, no, or or food. For example, we have the machaca, we have the percheron burro, no and uh, also the tacos many many things all right we're gonna identify the ingredients here mention it we have that like the donuts the meat like with the tacos and vegetables and cheese the next one is the butter butter cheese and cream and here meat again like the tacos and peanut sauce then uh, we're gonna have an explanation of the present passive voice guys the active voice places the focus of the sentence on the doer of an action the passive voice places the focus of the receiver of the action use the passive voice when the doer is not known or is not important the active voice we're gonna read from left to right you serve satay with peanut sauce the cook fries the empanadas the vendor boils and then bakes the bagels and the passive satay is served with peanut sauce the empanadas are fried, beagles are boiled, then baked. So this activity we're gonna check it tomorrow, and I will post it later the next video. And here we go again, guys. We have the past, uh, the passive voice of the present, present passive voice. Let's gonna see what's the passive voice first. We need to take in consideration that the passive voice is the verb be plus the past participle which is is a third column of verbs now remember that we have the past simple and then we have the this column that is a past participle you still or you have been pro or you're having problems with them uh, you should better check the list of verbs guys okay as an example of the book says there's a doer of the action there's a doer of the action and there's an object so right here we need to modify it that and by modifying we need to switch the object not that it becomes to the active of the voice it becomes the like it would uh, not the doer but the agent becomes passive for example my mom bakes some cookies we are going to focus on the simple present as you mentioned it there so that's active voice this is an active voice which in Spanish will be mi mamá hornea galletas. In the passive voice, well, first we need to identify the subject. The subject is my mom, then bakes is, bakes is the verb or the action, and what does she bake? That, the question, what does she bake? She bakes some cookies. Some cookies is the object of the question, well, of the verb, what, what does she bake? No? Bake. And remember, it bakes is because it's my month or person singular. Now, the object becomes now like the uh, the active, the active now. So some cookies, some cookies are baked by my mom. It's optional. 
So now some cookies, my object starts in the sentence of the passive voice, and because it, I mentioned it, it's the be in the present, and then the verb baked in the past participle. The past participle, it's the same sometimes. And by my mom, by my mom, she is the subject. Now, be careful when you use the subject verb agreement because it could change. And then, my mom baked some cookies. This is in simple present. So, because it's simple present, it's we need the past passive voice of the simple present. Some cookies are baked. This is are, which is present simple, right? Are baked. And then, by my mom. Next, uh, we have the my mom baked some cookies. What does she bake? Some cookies are baked. Well, let's gonna look to another example. My, I'm gonna, where's the, okay. My sister bought some jeans. My sister bought some jeans. This is in the past. We are, we don't require it, no? But just to, vamos a ponerlo como un ejemplo extra, no? Este es en simple past. Y como dice que tenemos que usar the verb and the subject verb agreement, ya saben que the simple past of the verb to be is was and were. Now, some jeans were bought by my mom. Some jeans were bought by my mom. So, some jeans, it's like my subject. And where about, it's my verb. Sorry for the switching of the colors. And where about, it's my verb in the passive form. No, so, this is my verb. So, we're going to put in green this word and uh, I'm sorry well, my mom sorry 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 by my sister by my sister sorry my mistake by my sister that's completely optional some jeans were bought by my sister my sister bought some jeans this is the passive voice so as a homework I want you to do this page no I want you to complete this page on your on your book please Remember that all these grammars, so you have to, you need to have the one and two and three, guys. Okay, so you need to have them done because I open the uh, spaces to upload it in the Zoom. No, it's this is page 25. Okay, and this is our, this is gonna be our next flip read, guys. Our flip reads, we're gonna talk about a uh, typical dishes here typical dishes and you will talk about their preparation and, and a little bit of background of that dish and that will be pretty much it for today and see you to the next class in the next class we're gonna look through the answers and we also check and continue our activity of the unit number three you know? so I can describe ways food is prepared so that's that's our task you know once that you already upload your flip grid so we gonna put the check mark right here and by well by now I will tell you that will be pretty much it for today and take care and see you soon